Okay, so we're back and we're going to take this section into CAD. So I'm just going to W block this out, which W block in AutoCAD just takes, you know, it's like export selected um, in Rhino. So I'm just going to go in and we'll just save over this section lines, clean drawing, and replace it. Okay, so we just take that out as a separate file. I'll minimize this. Let's go back to Revit. And so what we want to do is we want to bring that guy in. Um, and I'm just going to do it in this file since it's a little simpler. And we want to put it over the top of this guy and um, put a masking region or a filled region on top of it. So, so I'm just going to come in here, go to Import CAD get section lines clean and you're going to see it's going to orient it to view it's going to place it on the level um, top of footing which is fine it's going to do origin to origin so it's going to match up zero zero and so um, I'm just going to click open it's going to give me an error message that I can't see any of this in this view which kind of makes sense because I've got this far clip offset set to a half an inch so I'm really only looking at a very small slice of the model so what I'm going to do is go to my top of slab floor plan and if you zoom in, you can kind of see um, that pink line right there, which is the, it's popped it in, you know, at zero, zero. And if I tab select in there, oops, not that. I don't want the raster image. There it is. Um, I'll get that import symbol. And when you do origin to origin, it pins stuff. So I'm going to have to unpin it. And then if I unpin it and I zoom out a little bit, there's my section. So I want this to be on the other side of this because basically my section's looking in the opposite direction. So I'm just going to go to move and I'm going to move this guy vertically, um, move this guy up or to the north and hit escape a couple of times. And then I'll go back to my cross section. It's still not showing up because I set my far clip offset at such a little bit tiny bit but if I set it to five feet it picks that up right so now I have this line section and I'll just move it into place right so you can use whatever snap point you want right so now that guy is moved into place and now I can actually come in and if I pick it I'm just going to come down here and isolate that guy so I can just see it right so now I'm going to come in um, and I just want to see, I don't think I have any detail stuff hidden. What is that? No. Okay. So, uh, so we'll see. But now all I want to do is come in and go to annotate and I want to do a masking region, right? Or sorry, a filled region because I want to fill it with gray. And so now that I have these AutoCAD lines, I can come into the pick line and I can just tap my tab key and it'll run all the way around those. And then I'll tap my tab key here, tap my tab key there, tap my tab key there, right? And you can you can do a bunch of them at once here, right? And so as long as your files are clean from CAD, you're in pretty good shape. Um, you know, if I wanted to come in at this point I, and maybe make this guy go all the way across and get rid of that, just have a big foot you know a big fill down there I could do that so um, I need to stop this pick line command so I'm going to go to modify and then I can come in and just you know delete lines out that I don't want you know here through here and then I'm going to trim that and that and whoops whoop, and then delete that and then I'll just hit um, maybe change the type. We'll do a solid black for right now. Or there's a solid gray. Let's do that. And then I'll get check, right? And then I'm going to reset my temporary height isolate. And I'm going to turn on my um, category for details. And if I unhide that, now I've got sort of this section fill I do have my sections in my visibility graphics I think yeah I've got the detail item set to 15% transparency so I'll clear that right and so now I've got sort of this solid fill if I want to place that in my cross section you know that I had sort of cleaned up and notated that's pretty easy to do um, I'm just gonna pick it and 
I'm just going to copy it. So control C and then I'll go to my cross section and paste it. So I'll go to modify and I'll go to paste align to same place and then I would also have to come in and let's turn on my detail items here All right so and there you go I had um, another couple of detail items in here but um, as you can see too you can kind of pull things out like if you want to pull things further you know however you want to handle that you know is up to you but that is a quick way to do that I just feel like doing it in CAD is much faster and then you can bring it in and place it um, in Revit and get a sort of nice section fill especially if you have a complicated section